Okay, hey, and welcome to part two of, well, I don't know, is it part two? No, I think it's part three of the Royal Train video. You may remember that um, when I opened and had a look at the Royal Train, there was a box I didn't open. Well, I have actually opened that box already, and this is another box. So if we just have a look at the Royal Train first... Well, over there we've got Liz, which is a beautiful Princess Royal class LMS locomotive. And then if we just pan right round, and I'll try and duck out of the way, we can see her train, which is just there. And one of the boxes that I said I was going to open ages ago is just there. It's that particular coach, which is a sleeper coach in the Royal Train livery. And very nice it is too. But we've got another one. We've got a bonus one. Um, so if I just swing the camera back round. There's Liz again. Hello. Here we go. So let's have a look at this. Okay. No prizes for who it's by. And no prizes for where it came from. There is a prize for how much it is. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> what is it? Let's just open it and see. Let's just open it and see. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look. It's the kitchen car. I think we can confirm that by just having a look at the end. Yes, the Royal Kitchen slash Household Dining Car. And... It was just a completely random find um, from the model zone in, I think it's the Trafford Centre, Manchester. That's where it came from. And it completes the set really rather nicely. So this is it. As you can tell, it's a, a Mark III coach. Pretty much like any other to be honest, you know, whether that's Intercity or East Midlands or the Caledonian Sleeper, except it's in the Royal Train livery, and we can tell that because of the, the coloured springs on the bogies, which is a, a really interesting touch. Um, I mean, we've got yellow ones there, and then green ones there. Is that, is that right? Is that how it's supposed to be? If anybody can comment underneath and tell me whether they're supposed to be like that, then that would be much appreciated. But there's not much to say really. It's just a standard Mark III coach in the Royal Train livery. The detail is as we've come to expect from the Holland and Mark III coaches. It's nice. It's really nice. Plenty of detail on the ends. Riveting. A lovely paint finish all the way down. And fake curtains behind the windows. <laughs> it's just it's just brilliant. So yes, there we have it. The Royal Kitchen um, as part of the Royal Train, the dining car. So let's put that on the track and then couple Liz up to them and see her do her thing, do her stuff. Okay, well the first thing I'm going to do is put on the new coach. And so here it is. Just I'll put it on that way. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'll put it on that way. I don't think it makes any difference to be honest. Anyway, the tool we're going to use has featured in previous videos, but I'll just mention it again. It's called a railer, or a putter on -er. <laughs> And it's really quite simple. Um, just lay it on the track you'd like to add something to, like that. And then lift up the item of rolling stock, or even the locomotive that you want to load onto the track, just put it roughly on one end of the railer, or put on a row, and then just roll it down. That's it. Simple as that. Basically, it just guides the wheels into exactly the right places so they end up on the rails. That's it. Nothing more to it. So. I think it's time Liz did her thing. Okay, so here's Liz. Let's just give her a bit of juice. 
pick a direction and then get it to reverse up onto the royal train. I must point out that she is DC, so she might not be as smooth as we're used to. Isn't she just beautiful? Just look at her. She looks so grand pulling such a, a huge, smart train. So there's the locomotive, the Princess Royal class, Princess Elizabeth, followed by the dining car, followed by the support car, followed by the sleeping car, his saloon and her saloon. Absolutely incredible. Here she comes. Oh, majestic. Absolutely. This be I never thought she would look this good. Well, how about we get her go a bit faster, eh? Wrong way. Right. That's more like it. really hard to spin as it shoots past. The, the grip on the trainers is stopping me from spinning around as fast as I want to. And no, I'm not taking them off. It's too cold. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's all very well. What about the Class 67? So let's just slow her down and then bring her to a stop. Right, I think we need to put the Class 67 on, the, um, the Queen's Messenger. So if I maybe just shove that rail train backwards a little bit. and then do an amazing jump cut scene where the Class 67 suddenly appears. Ta-da! <laughs> so there she is. Uh, Queen's Messenger's there as well now. So if we just drive Liz out of the way, she has been uncoupled. Okay, so let's just get the Class 67 Queen's Messenger come out onto the main line, ready for the Royal Train.
Now, I must point out she's not been running quite a while, so she might be a little bit moody, shall we say. Let's just see. Oh, 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 yeah, come on. Moan and groan. Moan and groan. There we go. Not too bad, considering considering how long she's been on the shelf for. Anyway, so let's just flip this point here. Yes, these will be all automatic in the proper layout. But for now, they're not. So, and then let's get it to back up onto the train. I'm just going to point the camera down so we can zoom in on the bit that we want to. Yep, just like that. So let's get the Queen's Messenger to back up. There we go. That's a better shot. Oh yes. Just look how smart that looks. She's perfect for it. So let's get her going. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just as good as Liz. Here she comes. Okay, I will point out that the speed setting is set quite high. I mean that's at practically 3 o'clock despite the fact that she's not going very quickly but she is going very smoothly I can't complain about that she's pulling at a constant rate all around the entire layout she's just not going very quickly there are some slightly curious sounds coming from her though um, like it's almost like there's sparks or something coming from the motor. Uh, maybe she's due for a service. I'm not sure. But we'll send her off to crew works and see what we find out. But yes, there we have it. The Royal Train. Whether it's the Queen's Messenger. The Class 67. Or the Princess Royal Class Liz. Both are just stunning.